Ken Shiro Look at his face. His face smashed in. Fourth defense of his WBC light flyweight title. Curtailing this contest in the seventh stanza. After producing a masterful display. This is over in Japan. Punch picking and fleet footed boxing. Ken Shiro improves his record to 14 and 0. And Milan Melindo sees his bid to become a two time world champion at light flyweight come up short. Courtesy of increasingly sustained pressure applied by the brilliant young champion Ken Shiro. It was a magnificent display. Patient, poised, full of precise punch picking of good variety as well. And increasingly, they're not showing the he good stuff. Overwhelmed the champion, who, despite his edge in experience and ring craft, simply had no answer to the younger, fresher fighter. Can Let me say this. Um, I'm now. I can confidently cover all divisions from 112 and up. However, this is a uh, 108. I'm not very familiar with a lot of the fighters at 108 pounds, but nonetheless, I will be soon. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live, starting with uh, Ken Shiro, 14 and 0, eight KOs, WBC. What is this? This is this the um, light flyweight, correct? WBC light flyweight, 108 pound champion. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. It's been a long 24 hours. It is uh, 8:22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday. October the 7th, 2018. This is now the 14th fight. 13th, 14th fight. 13th fight I've covered in the last 24 hours. Some shit like that. Yes, I've bathed twice in that time. Once was actually to try to wake myself up yesterday. Another one was, whatever, we're here. <laughs> um, I don't want to be too critical, but... I've seen um, um, his opponent, uh, Milan Melindo, fight before. Are they going to give him a post-fight interview? Highly unlikely. This guy right here, he fought uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. I remember watching um, that fight with Estrada when I was preparing for um, Roman Gonzalez versus Rung Visai when I thought that Chaco Latito was going to beat Rung Visai. This is uh, what's coming up later on. This is the car we're watching, the World Boxing Super Series. Um, season 2 opener, 118-pound um, tournament. But to get back what I was say to what I was saying is I came across uh, Melindo because I was trying to watch um, – uh, get ready for Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez versus uh, Rung Visai when I actually thought before the first fight, before the first fight, that I thought that Chocolatito was going to beat um, Rung, v Rung Visai. And I said, OK, well, it's going to be um, Chocolatito versus uh, Estrada again. So I was doing some research. But nonetheless, like I'm looking. OK. The uh, fighters are uh, getting there. It's not that Ken Shiro at 26 years old is not good. It's just that I don't see anything great. When comparing to, I've seen um, I've seen him fight before. I've seen Acosta fight before, and a lot of these guys are either down in uh, Mexico or fighting over there in Japan. And to be able to cover those fights, I'm going to have to have a source to be able to. Well, now actually, um, there's been some great advancements over the last like year, as you can see on the channel. So, yes, I actually do have access to watch the fights now. It's not like it was before where I couldn't um, be able to watch these um, fights that were taking place in Japan, China, Thailand, all that. Now I have the access to do so like I did with uh, Rung Visai yesterday when he fought over in Thailand. So that's why I can say confidently that going forward, I'm going to be covering all of these fights in the 108-pound division in regards to the champions and mandatories as long as um, I'm able to locate them. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, good win for uh, Ken uh, Shiro. Um, I can't say, well, you know, he needs to go for a unification and all that because I don't know who the mandatory is. You know, I don't know. I mean, these fights are not really covered here in great detail in the United States, especially on YouTube. But guess what? I'm your man. I am T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. Oh, I didn't do my uh, intro. Boom. How do you like that? Huh? 
Oh wait, I got a little treat for y'all. Let's listen to uh, Know You before we go. Finally, the time has come. I can't wait to get in the ring. This is the biggest fight of your career. Are there any nerves? I am nervous in a positive way and I'm very excited. It's going to be a packed, sold out arena here at the, in Yokohama. Are you going to be putting on a great show for your fans? I promise to give everything that I have in the ring and I can show you the best performance ever. And you picked Payano at the draft gala. You must have seen something that you thought you could win. Why did you pick him? Yes, I am confident, but at the same time, I respect him as an experienced and a tough fighter, and I always wish to fight against the strongest fighter, so I chose Payano. Finally, do you have a prediction for the fight? How will it end? I will look for KO. I want to finish him. Thank you very much. Best of luck. All right, guys. Uh, please subscribe on to the next fight. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live.